This is the Cole family. Robert, Susan, the children Emma and Jerry, Grandma Maggie, Grandpa Bob, and the dog, Buddy. The Coles love to research things themselves to get to the heart of a matter. They have often heard that not everything is above board when it comes to clinical trials. So they went to find out. They have an appointment with Rebecca at Bayer. She will try to answer their questions. Robert would like to know why drug trials are necessary at all. In our research, we're constantly looking for new active substances to improve treatments, the quality of life, and the prospects of a cure for patients. But before a new active substance can become a medicine, we must understand not only its effectiveness, but also any possible side effects. Lab experiments and animal tests won't be enough, and the only way to learn more about the situation in a human being is by conducting clinical trials. But we can't just think these up either because there are strict rules. Every planned study is first submitted to the competent authorities and has to be individually approved. Then, independent ethics committees review the trial to ensure that the highest ethical standards are applied. Only after approval can clinical trials be initiated. Susan wants to know why trials on people are carried out in developing countries. Is it because it's cheaper? No, that isn't the reason. If we want to bring a drug onto the market that is supposed to help people all over the world, we have to test it on different groups of people. The populations in the clinical trial need to be representative for the people intended to use the drug once it's on the market. A body's reaction to a drug can vary. For example, due to ethnical or regional characteristics. Some countries therefore require that the clinical trials take place in their countries as a prerequisite for approval. That's why we conduct tests in different regions. However, overall, the vast majority of participants in clinical trials is still from Western Europe, Canada and the USA. In 2011, nearly two-thirds came from these countries, and not from developing countries. From South and Central America, there were only 13%. From Africa, just 1.6%. However, this doesn't alter the fact that at Bayer, all trials are conducted according to the same high, internationally applicable standards, irrespective of where we carry them out. Jerry and Buddy are the best of friends. They don't like animal experiments. Are they really necessary? Unfortunately, yes. The effect of a substance can't be properly assessed until it's been tested on a living organism. And before we test the active substances on people, we need to analyse them in animals. This is also mandated by international regulations on drug development. Prior to each project, we always check whether an approved method is available that does not rely on animal studies. And if possible, we apply it. At the same time, the number of animals used in experiments has fallen markedly. Today, we require a third as many as in 1989. Since 2005 alone, we could roughly halve the number of study animals used. Emma has heard about a girl who is very sick and who is taking part in a clinical trial. Why are children needed for this? This is a really difficult subject. Children can be very different. Just think of premature babies or nearly grown-ups. Growth and development of body and mind is enormous in childhood and has unique features. Not every substance that has proven effective in adults is also suitable for treating children. Some diseases occur exclusively in children or progress differently in adults. So, when a sick child needs a medicine to treat its illness, we want to be sure to know which drug, at which dose, is best suited to help this child. That's why we have to examine precisely the safety, efficacy and the right dosage of a drug for the specific age groups. Usually, an age-appropriate form of application has to be developed as well, like, for example, a syrup. The EU requires that clinical trials are performed in children if they can also be affected by the disease for which the new drug was developed. 
Particularly high standards apply for paediatric studies to protect the participating children. The parents are informed in detail. At the same time, the child too is informed in an age-appropriate manner. Not only the parents, but also the child must agree to participate in the trial. If they do not want to participate or want to stop their participation during the trial, they can of course do so at any time without giving a reason. Bob has the impression that only trial results that suit the pharmaceutical industry are published. Bayer is fully committed to responsible public disclosure of information about its clinical trials and supports transparency measures that aim to advance medical knowledge and public health and foster scientific discovery. This is done in line with the position of the global pharmaceutical industry associations. It is mandatory to publish trial results with patients. Bayer publishes the studies online, irrespective of whether the results of the trial for one of our products are positive or negative. Maggie has read that it costs an average of over a billion euros to develop a drug. Couldn't it be done more cheaply? After all, that would also have an effect on the prices in the pharmacy. More than a billion. That's right. It takes about 10 to 12 years to develop a single new drug. Often, only one new drug candidate out of every 100 we research makes it to market approval. Innovation requires incentives. A fair reward of medical innovations is the prerequisite for the development of new, meaningful and innovative medicines which benefit patients and society. And current revenues pay for current and future R&D activities, which are essential to ensuring new medicines for the future. The Cole family have been given some answers to their questions and are convinced that research at Bayer meets high medical, scientific and ethical standards. People's safety and health are our top priority. If you have any further questions on clinical trials, please visit our website or contact us. Bayer. Science for a better life.